What's up, Star Atlas family? My name is Mike, this is Beyond the Horizon, and today we're gonna go over an awesome website called redspatula.io. Uh, it's a place that you can go to compare the prices on all the ships and what they used to cost and what they cost today. Let's do this, man, let's fly. Yeah, buddy. So this is redspatula.io. This is what I was talking about, which is a great tool for you to possibly find a good price for a ship that you want to purchase. Right on the left, it's actually more than just ships because on the left is ships, collectibles, access, structures, stories, and then fleets. Um, nothing for fleets at the moment but if you go let's start at the bottom if you go to stories this is the comic book that they started uh, offering star atlas started offering telling a little bit about the lore of the uh, star atlas universe so you can see starting at episode one all the way down to episode five what it's selling for um, i'm going to go over the bid and the markets and the asking in a second here um Next down from the bottom, or I should say up from the bottom, is um, all the land stakes and mining equipment you possibly could buy. Access is the access badges that give you special little perks. Then collectibles, which are skins and posters and crew gear and things like that. But let's start off with ships. Once you click on ships, you can go to all the different sizes from extra small all the way up to the Titans. I don't believe there's a mothership at the moment. But if we start at extra small, you can see the Fimble Air Bike, the Fimble Ecos, the Opal Jet, the Pierce X4, the Vices Solos. If we go starting from the left to the right, um, bid market. This little symbol right here, this is the Atlas bid market asking price. Um, so there is someone out there that the highest bid right now is $2.38 worth of Atlas, which is 729 Atlas. Right here you can see that they're hoping to get a Fimble air bike for. Um, next over is the bid market for USDC. And just in case you don't know what USDC is, that's a stable coin pegged to the United States dollar. And so they want $2.35. Atlas is the in-game currency for Star Atlas. So the 729 is the in-game current currency. And right here, the $2.35 of USDC would be equivalent to 720 Star Atlas tokens. Now if we go over next, so these are what someone would put in for a bid. So they say, hey, I want a Fimble Air Bike. I'm hoping to get one for $2.38 worth of Star Atlas. Over here, this is an ask market, which is what actually someone is selling a Fimble Air Bike for. So they're actually selling it for $2.55. So you could put a bid in and you can look and say, hey, I want to sell one of my or buy one of my Fimble Air Bikes or possibly sell one. And I think I'm going to try to get one for $2.38. You can put one in and you might have to wait a day, an hour, a week. Um, but hopefully you'll get one for your bid price. But if you're a little impatient or you think that the price is a fair price and you want to get one immediately, you can go to the ask market. And again, you can do the Atlas version of it. So you'd have to pay by using the in-game currency of Atlas for 780 Atlas, 780.8, or you can use USDC and you can buy it for $2.65 USDC, which is the equivalent of 812 Atlas. Then you, next over right here is the bid versus the VWAP. Now, this is saying basically the bid over here 
how much what is the difference between the bid over here and the actual price that star atlas had given the original ship had had actually sold the original ship for so the vwap for the ship $16.50 VWAP. The bid, what someone is asking for, is 85.59% lower. And you can go right down to, you know, um, bid in USDC, ask in Atlas, and ask in USDC. You can see the VWAP is right here. It's next. And then this is really interesting. This if you are going to play the score game and you're going to stake your ships, which I do, I love it, you essentially get free Atlas for staking your ships. You're playing the game, this little mini game. Um, you have to keep your ships full of fuel and food and supplies. Um, but as long as you basically go either every day to every couple days, depending on what your ship needs, and uh, keep your ships supplied up, you'll get some free Atlas. And this tells you right here, your gross Atlas, how much you're gonna get. If you buy this ship and then stake it in the score game, you'll get 0.74 Atlas every single day. Um, but after the fees all come out to like fuel your ship and keep the, you know, keep, have the food and the ammo and everything like that, um, you'll actually take home 0.55. Um, it's kind of small right here, but if we go over, let's go over to the extra small ships. Um, again, everything is the same. It's just different class ships. Um, you can see that your daily Atlas goes up quite a bit. And if we go all the way up to, let's go all, let's just go to a capital ship. And see if you have the dough of maybe you want to immediately buy a Busan Maiden ship for $6,090. You'll get, after your supplies and the ammo and everything like that, you'll get 1,086 Atlas every single day, which is worth about $3.54. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is when you will go back to the extra small where we first started, you can see this little color-coded... Um, three dots next to each one of the ships. This will tell how rare the ship is. Um, if you hover over it, this is common and an epic right here. We go like, let's go up to medium. Um, you'll see we have uncommon, rare, another epic. Going up to large. You'll get a legendary ship with the Ogrika Thripid. Um, so that'll also give you a little idea of how rare your ship possibly could be so this is an awesome um, tool for you to use when you're deciding to buy a ship if you do decide that you want to buy something like one that I I got my eye on I'd love to get a little Fimble Mamba I kind of like the whole bounty hunting idea that Fimble Mambas have behind it you click on it brings you up to this secondary screen right here tells you how much the ship was originally the VWAP your daily rewards all sorts of market data which is pretty cool this is uh, USDC buyers what people are hoping to buy one for so these are basically the bids and these are the actual true sellers so right now someone's trying to sell it for 399 Point nine 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 dollars which is actually a really good price in the past month or so it's been a little bit higher than that and the same thing for atlas buyers and if you go down at the very bottom you can see a little more details so you know medium class ship it's an uncommon it tells you your cruise crew slots um what you're gonna get you're gonna get you know a captain one pilot one co-pilot components down here um zoom down a little bit you know your power supply your tractor beam your hull reinforcement countermeasures everything like that and then if your ship is offered any module mod, mod, module slots um this one happens to have one for the brig and one for ammunition brig because it's a bounty hunting ship and then the fleet stats 
which is really in depth right here. It tells you how much ammo, how much food, fuel per minute, pretty crazy stuff right here. And you're like, thinking, man, I totally want one of these. Hit purchase Fimble Mamba right here. Brings you right to the Star Atlas website where you can uh, click on item details, take a further look, maybe check out some more pictures. Pretty cool stuff. And then you can see right here just what we were talking about. I actually don't see the 399.99 seller, but here it is, the 400 that we saw earlier. And then the buyers, what the people are, basically the bids, what they're hoping to buy for right here. And there you have it. And I just, real fast, I want to go over to check in collectibles because it's a little different. They have just one more thing right over here. They have class and category. So if you go to, you're thinking about buying a skin, you can, if you're buying a skin, you can skim right down and look for skins oh sweet there's a blue tigra and that is for the uh for the extra small ships right here for the pierce x4 going back be like oh wow look at that i have a little extra usdc i have a dollar 67 extra i think i'm gonna grab this skin not you know not a bad thing to um just grab a couple little extra items to make your game more fun. Um, if you're just trying to get all the posters because you have a ship that has a gallery in it and you want to grab some posters, some artwork for your ships, you can just look for posters or some crew gear. So if you want to like pimp out your dude and grab some of that. Structures. Um, this is going to be really useful, especially once mining comes around. Um, or if you're thinking about um, trying to grab a piece of land in one of the main bases, either Oni, Mud, or Uster, um, you can quickly scan and skim prices. I just noticed, what did I notice today? A little bit earlier, I had noticed, um, I think it was the space stations were really low, which I'm not seeing right now, but... Um, here, here it is, space station. $17.78. What a deal, man. Or $18 if you're paying USDC. Super good price right there. Um, and a good day for buying. There's quite a few things that uh, are on fire sale compared to the last couple months. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm a new channel called Beyond the Horizon 2620. And 2620 comes from the year that Star Atlas takes place. Um, I hope you found this information even informational. Um, please subscribe, man. It's awesome. Take it easy. Later, cadet.